Yo, what's good, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys haven't um, been tuning in lately, we were doing the NBA line ranking, and we're back on wheel spin. And today we're going to be doing NBA shooting guards. And I'm excited to continue this. We did teams, and then we did point guards, so we're going to continue right here. I hope you guys enjoy these types of videos. Make sure you guys like the video if you want to see more, and let's get right into it. Okay, so... Last time I think we did like five or six rounds, and um, there was a couple times I was pretty satisfied, but not totally. But we're gonna start here. Let's get um, some perfect rankings right here. Shooting guards. By the way, if the if the player plays multiple positions, I will pick the position that they play for the team currently. And now we got Atlanta Hawks newly acquired Dejounte Murray. We'll start at shooting guard alongside Trey Young. Um, through a one through five list, he is an All Star. Just made his first All Star team last year, and honestly, I I don't know what to do about this one because it's a tough one. I'm gonna put him at two. The Dejounte at number two. Let's continue to spin. We get the Kings. Um, I predict they're gonna start either Malik Monk or Kevin Herter at that position. Um, eat one of the two. Herter has the size, Monk's a little smaller, but has more athleticism. So I don't know who they're gonna start. Um, right now, but I'll go with Kevin Herter, and I'll put Kevin Herter at five. Third spin. We got Dejounte at two and Kevin Herter at five. Then we get Philly. Who, um, James Harden plays point guard, by the way, and Maxie's gonna, is playing off the ball more, so he is the two guard. So, Tyrese Maxey. I love Tyrese Maxey's game, very quick with the ball, and can play off the ball. Um, going into his third season now, but I will put him at number three. So we got DeJounte, and then we got Tyrese at two, I mean at three, and Herder at five. Let me get the Spurs. Um, Primo, Sell, right? Johnson, um, Sohan and Pirtle. I'll go with Devin Vassell. Um, it's a toss up between him and Herder, so you could either pick one of the two. But I'm gonna have to put Vassell at number four. I did leave that number one spot open, and let's see who will it go to. Not a bad list so far. And there you go. Now it's a bad list. I guess Jalen Suggs at the two, right? Yeah, that's not that's not it. All right, round number two. Not a, not the worst first round, but didn't end the way we wanted to. All right, so we get the Indiana Pacers. Um, Buddy Heald or Ben Matherin who's gonna be playing the shooting guard. Um, I'll put Buddy Heald since we've seen Buddy Heald play so far and I'm not sure if Matherin starts right out the way. So we're gonna put Buddy Healed at three. Okay. Healed at three. We continue. Get the Miami Heat. So Lowry, Struce, Butler, Caleb Martin and Adam So that's Struce. Struce had a good year for the Miami Heat. He can shoot the ball really well. Um, he's not totally trash, so I'll put Struce at four. Spin three. Sixers again. We get Maxi, and we're gonna put Maxi at two. Spin four. Maxi healed and Struce. One and five are left. Dallas Mavericks. So we know they got Luca. Um. And Tim Hardaway's coming back. We haven't seen him play in such a long time. Dinwiddie is probably coming off the bench as their backup point guard. So I'm going to guess Tim Hardaway starts. And we haven't seen him in a while. So he's coming off that injury. I'm fine with putting him at five. I like this list so far. Okay, number one. It all comes down to this. Give us an elite shooting guard. What are the odds we get Jalen Suggs at one twice in a row? That is crazy. So Jalen Suggs is going to have to go into the one spot once again. 
There's something about the magic, they just want me to land on them. Two rounds ruined by Jalen Socks. Let's try to change that this time. Jalen Green. I, I'm excited to see him take a, another step in the right direction in the second year. Um, uh, this is a tough one. I'm going to put Jalen Green at 3. I feel like I start at 3 every time. Maybe it's a problem, but I'm going to do it again. Okay. Get a 6 again. It's Maxi. Okay. Maxi at 2 then. Come on, give me some different teams. Give me my elite guy. Right here. OKC. Now, Giddy's the best passer on that team, but Shea has the ball in his hand, so Shea's the point guard. Definitely. Lou Dort's a small forward there, even though he is the size of a guard. So, it's Giddy. Definitely, I like Giddy. Um, you guys know that. And I'm going to put Giddy at 4. I can't put him dead last, can I? But hopefully we get a bad shooting guard and then a really good one. Alright, hopefully I didn't mess this list up. One and five are still open. Get the Nuggets. KCP. For his role, he plays really well. Obviously, in that 2020 bubble Lakers championship, he played a really good role as a 3 and D player in that great Lakers defense. And now he's in Denver. But um, I'm fine with to put him at five here. Overall talent, Giddy's better than him, even though Giddy is a rookie. Going into a second year now. Ah, Chicago. No, not Milwaukee. Who's their shooting guard? Is it going to be Wesley Matthews? Oh my god, it was so close to being perfect. Levine would have been my number one. That would have been perfect. Instead, we get Wesley Matthews or Grayson Allen. Whoever they start, I'll go with Wesley Matthews. Ha <laughs> ha!